Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a quick demo of how to use the ProShot Case app. So first, make sure you have the correct app. It is called ProShot Case and is available in the Apple App Store. So when you first open the app, you'll notice that the volume minus button can change your camera modes. So we have photo, video, and sleep modes available right now, but you can see that volume minus will cycle through the modes and volume plus acts as your action button so it can take photos or start and stop videos. Um, we also have a sleep mode which will save battery when this mode is selected and then you can click any button to get out of it. So next I want to show you some of the settings options. So if you click this gear button in the top right corner this will bring you to some of our settings. So first I want to show you how to select different camera modes. So before we only had photo, video, and sleep available. This will allow you to, to select which camera modes will be displayed on the home screen. So you'll see we have a number of different options. We have sleep mode, swap, zoom, photo, time lapse, video, timer, and slow motion. So I'm going to select time lapse, slow motion, and timer mode. So once you turn those on, simply hit back Go back to the home screen and you'll now see that you have slow-mo, time-lapse, and timer modes are now options under your camera modes that you can cycle through. So let's go back to the setting screens and I want to point out a very important mode which is called underwater mode. So this says highly recommended when filming underwater. This will disable your touchscreen so that the camera can only be controlled with the volume buttons. This prevents water from accidentally activating touch controls. So if you turn this on, go back to the home screen, you'll notice that the touch functionality does not work anymore. And this is very important because water can sometimes activate certain touch controls that you might not want to have activated. So now you can only control your camera with the volume minus and volume plus buttons. So I'm taking a sample time lapse here to show you how it works. Um, you'll see that there are waves over the photo button. So that is underwater mode. Next, I want to show you bright sun mode. So this displays a black banner. So text is a little easier to read. And we recommend using this if it's a very bright sunny day out. It just makes seeing what camera modes are selected a little bit easier. So you'll see there's a slightly transparent but black banner behind all of the modes. Again, it just makes it a little bit easier to see what you're doing, especially if it's very bright outside. So next, we have options to record in 60 frames per second. This is better for fast motion, but of course it uses twice as much space on your phone. There is an also an option to turn on 4K recording, um, which all the new iPhones have the ability to do. I also want to highlight our timer mode. So first go to camera settings and make sure the timer mode is selected on. And next you can go to timer settings and you can choose the timer delay which is the number of seconds before the timer goes off which can be 1 to 10 seconds and the timer number of photos which tells you how many photos will actually be taken after the timer goes off. So I'll give you a quick example. So we go back to the home screen, make sure the timer mode is selected use volume minus to scroll and then volume plus to start the timer. So you can see that three seconds counted down and then it took four photos and it takes one photo every half second. So next I'll show you some of the advanced settings. We have raw photos and wide gamut color options. So honestly we don't recommend using these unless you are an advanced photographer and know how to use wide, raw photos and wide gamut color. Well, thank you everybody so much for watching. And if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us at info at proshotcase.com. Thanks so much. Bye.